Okay, so let's continue with part 7 now. So we continue where we left off last time and uh, so now we're going to try and get the, the, the toes done and uh, I think we're going to try to get the teeth done as well. So let's get started and uh, let's get the toes ready. So I'm going to press 1. I'm going to select these faces here. I'm going to scale on the Y just to make that flat. Let me scale that here, that there. I'm going to grab some of the edges up. Let me grab this up, go back to 1. So now let's get, let's look at the picture so that, just to make sure that we're on the right track. So I'm going to look at the pictures that has the toes. Now this one you can barely see them, so this one's not too helpful in that. So let's look at this one. Now this one shows that he has three toes, so it's really easy to see from this picture. So we're going to use this image, we're going to be looking at this image of the toes so that we can get kind of close to resembling this image. So let's go ahead and I'm going to select some of the faces here. I think I'm going to select these three faces for the toes. Actually let me, let me select this, move this up. Now select those three faces and we're going to edit mesh and first we're going to make sure that this is not selected and now we extrude. We scale that and now we're going to use the blue handle. Move those down. I'm going to press 3 just to see how that, that looks the subdivision mode. I think that looks fine for now. Maybe we can come back in a few minutes and do some slight shaping. So now let's do the same with the with the back here. Select those three faces. Go to edit mesh, extrude. And I'm going to use the blue handle here. Let move those down. Let me press 3 just to see how that looks. The reason I'm pressing 3 to look to see how that looks is because I'm going to subdivide the mesh later. So let's select the three faces one more time. Go to Edit Mesh, and this time make sure to check that. And extrude. I'm going to use the blue handle G to extrude one more time. Scale those. Let me grow the selection here. So now let's do the same with the with the front. G to extrude. G one more time to extrude and scale these ones. I'm 
I'm going to press W and grab those down. I'm just going to grow the selection. Move those up. We can always come back to that later. So let's continue to do some some shaping here so that we can get that silhouette that we're looking for. So let's get back to the head, see what we, we got here. So something I forgot to do last time was, uh, let me show you some of the pictures here, some of the close-ups of the, the mouth. So something I forgot was to kind of add this area so that we get that crease in. So I think uh, I'm going to add it. Now this picture this picture is not too visible so you might be able to get away without adding that and just doing some some slight shaping so I'm gonna let you decide whether you want to add it or not but in this case I'm going to I'm actually going to add it so I'm going to add this area here with a simple extrusion so you 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 can follow or not so select those two faces if you are going to follow me. So do edit mesh next to Now this is something that I could have done maybe earlier in the stages but I totally forgot so, so I'm doing it now. And I'm probably going to have to spin some of the edges so that I can have a better flow of geometry here. So I'm actually going to edit mesh. I'm going to use this spinach forward tool. Now don't follow for now and just and just I just want to see what I get. I'm just playing with the with the edge flow here to get something that I like. So you don't have to follow for now and let me just just selecting some of the edges and spinning them. See if I get something that I like in terms of the edge flow. So I'm just spinning some of the edges and I'm pressing G. I just want to get uh, a better edge flow. I think I like this one. I think I like it this way. I think that might work. So 
so yeah I'm going to select that edge and uh, again I want to spin edge forward and G and I'm going to leave it this way that edge I think I like the edge flow for that for that area so I'm going to continue just to play with the with the top now see if I get uh, some geometry the edge flow better better looking here Again, I'm just playing with the with the edge flow. I just want to see if I get better flowing geometry here. I'm just trying to get something that I like, that I'm comfortable with, um, in terms of in terms of the edge flow. I think it kind of looks okay for now, though. I'm not too happy about this star here, so I want to minimize that. Or I think I, I kind of like it. I think I, this one might work. I know it might be hard, difficult to follow what I just did. So I just was, I was basically just spinning some of the edges to kind of create a better flow with geometry here. So I think I'm going to leave it this way. Yeah, I think I think it works this way. Just trying different combinations here, just to see what I get. So I think I'm just going to leave it this way for now. So maybe if it's if it's possible just to get as close as possible as to what I got here. So let me select some of the fa in the inside faces here. I'm going to move those in inwards so that we have more of the mouth area in, in there. So let's do more shaping before we get into creating the teeth. Let me insert an edge loop. By doing that, you can do that by going to Edit Mesh, Insert Edge Loop. Again, I'm using a keyboard shortcut for my Insert Edge Loop. And if you're if you're interested in learning how to do that, I have a whole tutorial dedicated to that. In, turn, in case you're interested.
So let's continue to shape. So we are getting to that point where we're we're getting we're getting there um, and starting to to get that shape that we were looking for. So at this point we're doing some some more shaping and we're not worrying about adding geometry for now, just let's continue to shape. So I think I'm going to stop here for now and I'm going to let you continue going to let you continue to shape. So in the next video we're going to create the teeth for sure. That's what we're going to do for sure in the next video. And uh we're going to subdivide and perhaps perhaps by the next the, by the next video we're going to actually be done with the whole modeling process. Okay?